everybody, Dr. Cobb back with you. Last week we talked about carpal tunnel pain and dysfunction and grip strength and how all of that influences activity as we get older. We covered two exercises, one for what's called the median nerve for your thumb, index finger, and middle finger, and another exercise for your ulnar nerve that takes care of your uh, little finger and ring finger. Now, we looked at that last week, and I talked a lot about the idea that grip strength is a uh, important progressor, if you will, of activity as we get older. But one of the big things that we run into is that people, when they've been again, thinking about grip strength, they get tennis balls and they squeeze them, or they go buy the grippers at the store, or whatever they're doing to improve grip strength, and so they wind up working on what are called the flexors, the muscles that squeeze the hand together. Well, really to have great grip strength and hand health, we need to not only have good flexing muscles, we also have to have good extending muscles, muscles that do the opposite of what we typically do all day with our hands. If we're typing 12 hours a day or eight hours a day, we're getting lots and lots of flexor practice and not nearly as much extensor practice. So one of the great ways to alleviate wrist problems, hand problems, forearm problems, etc., is to focus on exercises that also take care of what are called the extensors. Now last week I talked about our focus on, on the nerves that feed the flexors. So this week we're going to do an exercise that focus focuses on the nerve that feeds the extensors. All right? The muscles that open our hand, bend our wrist back, and help us uh, straighten our elbow. So this is called a radial nerve glide. If you remember last week I said when we do these type of nerve mobilizations we're being very careful with the intensity. You have to clear it with your doctor, make sure it's, he's okay with it or your healthcare provider. And you want to keep your intensity below a three on a scale of one to 10. So those are our basic rules. Now, let's get into the radial nerve glide. This is one of my personal favorites. I use it before all of my workouts because it also helps me with push-ups and bench pressing and all those other cool things. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the arm, we're gonna put it down by our side. Our very first movement is to take our thumb and put it across the palm of our hand. So the thumb's gonna go across. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to do what's called flex our wrist. All right, so we're gonna flex our wrist like this. We're gonna lock our elbow out straight. We're standing in a nice tall posture. You may already be feeling a slight tingling sensation around the back of your upper arm or at pulling into your forearm. Now from here, we're going to do something important which is turn your shoulder in. So I'm gonna rotate in. I'm then going to take my arm out to the side slightly it should begin to intensify quite a bit at this point. Now we have two more things to add in. We're gonna pull our shoulder blade down and tilt our head away. This is the full setup for the exercise. Let's go over that one more time. Thumb across, flex the wrist, lock the elbow, turn the arm in, raise the arm out to the side slightly, pull the shoulder blade down, tilt the head away. Now in this position, we're gonna do three different movements to mobilize the nerve. The first one, raise the shoulder blade, pull it down. Three repetitions of that. We're then gonna hold the shoulder blade down. We're gonna bend the elbow slightly and then relock it. We're gonna do that three times. And then we're gonna hold all of that uh, positionally. We're then going to extend our wrist, so pull our wrist backwards and then reflex it. And we're gonna do that three times. And that feels fantastic. All right, so that is called a radial nerve mobilization. And as I said, it's very important if you're gonna do the other two from last week because you're trying to take care of your hands that you add this one into the mix. If you have any questions about how these exercises are supposed to feel, uh, how to perform them, uh, any concerns that come up with them, please let us know, we'll be happy to help you out. And really, as I said, think this through and consider adding these in 30 seconds at a time, a few times a day, make a huge difference long-term for you, thanks.